I don't eat um, any meat that gets killed like this because I eat halal meat, which gets from killed KFC. Way. They got halal meat at KFC. I'm not the most religious person. No, I'm just asking you a question. All right, so here we are in Manchester. We've got some stands for change behind us here. We've got some TV stands. We're going to show people slaughterhouse footage. I edited some up myself. And we're going to hopefully persuade people away from using animal products and lead them to the vegan lifestyle. Let's do it. If, you, if you're against animal cruelty, you should be vegan because otherwise you're paying for it. Oh. This okay. is all. Not asking for money, asking for people to stop paying for animals to be abused. Right, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Thank you. No worries. That's called a gas chamber. They kill pigs here in the UK with them. And they scream really loud and suffer in there. We're trying to get people not to buy any animal products. Because if you pay for this for bacon or pay for uh, eggs or dairy, the, you're paying for animal cruelty. So we have some we have some guidance to help people if they want. Oh, oh so nice. Do you know what this is? Is a killing, isn't it? Yeah, slaughterhouses and that, eh? Oh, no. I'm yeah. vegetarian, anyway. You're vegetarian? I don't need anything. Yeah, but uh, you know dairy milk from the cow? Yeah. Yeah, they slaughter them cows as well. Is it? Yeah, and their calves. You know when they have a baby? Yeah. The, if the baby is a boy in the dairy, for the dairy milk, if it's a boy who doesn't produce milk, they kill them straight away. Wow. Or they send them off to be killed a little bit later. So it's the same problem yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, thank you. you know what? Uh, vegan, I know. Vegan, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, no eggs and no dairy. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So basically with the footage, um, I, I try to include like every food industry and then um, at the end of each of the cruelty I'll have like me at a sanctuary connecting with the animal just so people get that human connection. And also I thought maybe if they, they're watching and they see the happy animal part, it might encourage them to, to watch more and then they'll see the cruelty as well. So I know, see how that works. Hey brother, how are you? Yeah, I'm showing people every industry. Eggs, dairy, uh, slashing uh, animals' heads off for lamb. What do you do? You think that? It's pretty graphic shit. Yeah, it's reality, isn't it? This is a stun slaughterhouse, so they're stunning them first. What do they do? Whack it with an electrical cover? Yeah, they stick two prongs in their neck. Um, oh, job. Oh, that's yeah. Awesome. Well, you, would you say you sound like you're against animal cruelty? Uh, I'm against, well, I'm against animal cruelty, but I still eat meat. It's a weird one, isn't it? It's a weird situation to be in, isn't it, really? Like, would you say that you're a hypocrite? Probably, yeah, but I mean, they've been doing it for thousands and thousands of years. Like, I can't imagine it's going to change any time soon. Yeah, well, it's I mean... more of a personal, um, it, it's less of a global challenge and more of a personal preference, isn't it, nowadays, I would say. Yeah, there's people who have some personal preferences that are... Oh my god, that's some graphic shit. Would you say that's just a personal preference? I mean, it's awful, isn't it? Yeah, so when you when you basically go in the supermarket buy meat, you're paying for this to happen without you yeah. and every other person who purchases these products, these yeah, places don't exist. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty yeah. Hard, yeah. So like, you know, we've been doing lots of things to each other for thousands and millions of years. Wars existed for that long. Rape yeah. has existed for that long. Doesn't mean we should continue it. Doesn't mean you yeah, should sure. participate in it just because... Um, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. You probably get some sick individuals in those type of jobs as well. People actually enjoy it and shit. Anyway, man, my dad's, my dad's looking at me, so I'm going to have to get off. Oh, bro. That. Take this Thank you very vegan much. challenge, some yeah, guide in there too, bro. No worries. I think it's actually quite effective to politely ask someone if they uh, would consider themselves a hypocrite. This can help you go vegan so you don't have to pay for this violence. Yeah, so this is what I'm handing out here, this pamphlet. Um, 
It's got some easy vegan swap outs, uh, how to be vegan at certain restaurants, uh, some documentaries and stuff. I'll be leaving this in a PDF download for you down below. I'll also be leaving an instruction guide for you to start your own uh, stands for change if you want to do your own. It's not an organization, just a guide basically. You can do whatever you want. Um, just letting you know how I did it. And you can download these if you want, but they're only for the UK. You can take the design and change it if you want. You can actually have four stands if you wanted to. So you could have it on each side as well. But I've just got two because that's all I can fit in the car, but you know. Four would be good too. Hey mate, how are you? Alright, what's that all about, mate? Uh, this is uh, like uh, standard practices for meat, dairy, eggs. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're trying to just encourage the public to stop buying meat and milk and eggs and cheese. Yeah, yeah. Buy the vegan versions of it, you know what I mean? Like made of plants. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, man, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Have you seen this before? Have, have you seen this before? Have you seen this before? Uh, no, but I know it happens. Obviously. Yeah. yeah, dairy industry, uh, egg industry, meat, fish. Yeah. Are you? Would you say you're against animal cruelty? Um, cruelty, yeah, but like, I still like chicken and stuff. I mean, KFC is pretty nice. I think it's more about um, the farms, like as an individual and how they do it personally. Like that's f***ed up because. That's just f***ed up. But then you have other places that probably do it in a nicer way or like, uh, like grass fed. Do they? Well, I think so, yeah. Do you think the chicken at KFC is done in a nice way? No, but it tastes nice. And I think that being vegan doesn't um, make it make the amount of animals killed any less. It just means you're not eating it, but it's still happening. And it, it's like, it doesn't stop it from I, happening. Do so mean, how does it make a difference? Do you understand what I mean, though? Oh, oh, you mean like if you go vegan right now, it's yeah, not going to happen difference. anyway. But yeah. you, you, all, you the, all the animals that are going to get killed are still going to get killed, regardless of whether I'm vegan or not. But don't you think that you're contributing to the problem by not being vegan? Um, well, like, let's just say you stop eating I'd your say thousand it makes you animals. I'd a better person to not participate and not want to be a part of it, but it still doesn't make a difference to how many get killed daily. It's still going to be the same. So are you certain about that? What? Are you certain about that? Yeah. So like, let's just say like you and about a thousand other people uh, go vegan and they start funneling their money out of the industry and into vegan products. You don't think yeah. that's going to make any difference? Um, yeah, but it's not going to happen. Well, that's already has happened. Has it? The vegan movement's but already... it's still happening. The animals still get killed every day. Probably the same amount as well. Yeah, but uh, the vegan movement's growing really big now. Is it? Yeah. And even people that are, you know, a bit flexitarian and stuff like that, they're going for the vegan options now. But, yeah. But, like, wait a second, are you are you said that you're against cruelty. Yeah, cruelty. I, I mean, I think it's f***ed up how the places do it, but there's nothing I can do to stop it anyway. Well, well, so. you, but you, if you're against cruelty, why do you pay for it? You said because it tastes good. Yeah, because it's food. I'm 16, I can't really do much in life. I just like eating food. I'm trying to figure my shit out already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a second, you know that you're against animal cruelty already. Yeah. Yeah. I can be against it, but I can't. I'm aware that nothing I can do is going to stop it anyway. So I can. I have to accept that. Wait a second. Shit happens all over the world. There's people. There's yeah. things happening to people as well. But no oh, one does anything second. about it. That's what I wanted to talk to you it's about. It's just the world. Of up place and you got to deal with it. So, like, people are going to kill each other, and if I stop killing people, uh, people are still going to kill each other. Should I just go and kill people now? Um, up to you if you want to take part. But wait a second, it probably won't. People. That many, if I don't kill people, not yeah. that many more people will. If you don't kill people, then less people would die. But that's oh. on the farmers if okay. they want to be vegan, because there's still farms out there, regardless of whether the public is vegan, they're still going to make their money, and they are still going to kill animals to make their money. So you think supply and demand? Do you know like yeah. economic supply and demand? So they demand, they supply if more, demand. If more people became vegan and the world became more aware that less product is needed and it's going to waste, then there's a chance of it happening less. But at the moment, I don't see that happening anytime soon because people like me. Yeah. So, but let's talk about you on an individual level. You, you're happy to pay for this cruelty and violence here because... Um, I saw a goat get murdered in one of my houses for something and I stopped eating meat. My cousin still doesn't eat goats because of it. I stopped eating it for a long time and now I do again because it's like if it's already dead, at least I can give it a purpose of it's getting cooked and it's already being cooked. Why throw it in the bin rather than see it? Because it's cruel and against your your. But good they're heart. already dead. 
<laughs> yeah, but they've been tortured and killed, and you're going to go ahead and eat that. I don't but know that. Like, did you, uh, do you people buy... get tortured and killed every day. It happens. Yeah, no, but you I wouldn't think... go up and eat a dead, tortured person, would you? I would. I would have killed someone myself or kill an animal myself. You wouldn't. But it happens. No. Why not? I don't think I have. But because this is the egg industry, by the way. They're macerating one-day-old male chicks because they don't uh, produce eggs. So they put them in a blender. This is stock standard. Free range organic do this as well. I mean, it probably makes me a bad person, but I'd still go KFC. I don't know. It's because that's, I'm used to that. That's kind of how I, I've been raised around me and eating. So was like, I. It's like, I can't. So was I. I don't eh? think a video is going to make me stop eating it. If It's well, like, I've already done it. So I, like, I've already I, I, I done it knowing all of this and this happens. So me being aware of it now, what difference does it make if I've already done it? Well, what difference is it makes is that you, when you go out and buy these products, you're contributing to the problem through supply and demand. Well, you're, you're I actually don't, I don't the... eat... Um, I don't eat um, any meat that gets killed like this because I eat halal meat which gets From killed KFC. in KFC? They got halal meat at KFC? I'm not the most religious person. No, I'm just asking you a question. But, no, they don't. They no, don't. some do, some do. Okay. But and have you ever seen a halal I go, slaughterhouse? I go KFC when I'm high because it tastes nice. Oh, well, wait a second. So, first you use halal as your reason? Yeah, I'll eat halal meat, but when I'm high and I've got munchies, I can't you, help you it. You eat KFC? Yeah, yeah I will. Yeah. Hello, slaughterhouses and farms aren't too much different. I would be up for, I have um, tried to become a like, vegetarian or vegan before, but it just, I just can't do it, personally, so. Do you think it's too hard? It is hard, yeah. You think it's pretty hard to be an animal on Earth? Um, I think it's hard to be any living being on Earth. Um, probably not as hard for the people who are heads, but for... I think it's harder to be a sheep people, on Earth, or you? Um, this is called mulesing. They are cutting the tail off of the sheep uh, in the wool industry. Snipping their... I feel bad because I don't feel anything. Like, it's not well, doing anything. Well, it's well, like, it's more of the fact that because I've already ate it, I don't see how... Well, what if it was you? What if it was you here? Can you put yourself in the animal's position? No, I can't. Yeah, it's called empathy. Can you put yourself in a person's position when they're getting harmed? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, why can't you put yourself in the animal's position? Probably because no one would really want to imagine what it'd be like for them because it's easier to disconnect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier to not feel it than to actually think about it. But I'm gonna. My boyfriend's gonna <laughs> shout at me if I'm late. Thank you. No worries. Bye bye. Nice. See ya. She was probably the hardest 16-year-old. I've ever met. <laughs> um, so hardest 16 year old girl I've ever met, that's for sure. Really, really cold and tough. Anyway, this is the egg, egg industry. The, the males, they don't lay eggs, so they kill them on their first day of life. Yeah, this is a, called a macerator. Yeah, but they only keep the females, so they can't use the males, so they, they kill them immediately. It's for eggs. Um, they, they're searing their beaks off with a hot sort of iron, so they don't peck each other in, in the sheds. Yeah. This is just a UK egg industry. You guys speak English? Yeah, or are you from? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Basically, we're just asking people to stop paying for animal cruelty. So when yeah. you're uh, not a vegan, you pay for animal products, and yeah, they all really yeah. So Thank you. it's free. We just yeah. want people to stop this, you know, because every time you make a decision in the supermarket, you either choose cruelty or you choose plants, you know. And plants, obviously, they can't suffer like animals do, and they suffer just like a dog or a cat would suffer. And, and most people don't know what goes on in the industry, so. Don't listen to their humane lie that they tell people, yeah. you know. Yeah. They seem pretty affected. I don't know. Do you, do you, do you eat meat? Do you eat meat? Yeah, watch it. Yeah, watch it. This is a gas chamber. Huh? This is called a gas chamber. They kill the uh, pigs in there here in the UK. Oh, uh, you see? Yeah. See? You see what you're doing to them? You as well. Wait, well, are, well, are you a vegan? No, no. No, no, no. But kind of, sometimes. One week. <laughs> one week. One week oh. on enough. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you put 
Well, so. B, B, what, all the other animals are still tortured and killed as well yeah. as pork, so they just look different to pigs. So cows and chickens and the and the dairy the dairy cows are all yeah. slaughtered and um, the egg laying hens are all slaughtered. Yeah. This is horrible. This is bacon. was a vegetarian, she's 24. Oh, wow. She was a vegetarian, vegan, same as me, three years nearly. Wow, that's great. Great. And I work at school, I'm nearly 60, and I'm great at me. Oh, wow. Never poorly, Crazy. never that's sick. Good. Never poorly, never sick. Mad as a hassle. Great. Great, that's good to hear. That's you good. look well as well. Thank you. How long have you been a vegan? Uh, how do you know I'm a vegan? Well, I presume you are doing this. No, I'm a hypocrite. I, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, seven, nearly seven years. Hello. Strong. Yeah, hello. This is a huge fan. Uh, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> you gave me this really big smile then. <laughs> I was like, oh, that was nice. I know. It's because I'm like literally watching your videos every day and I'm seeing you. It's like, oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wish I could stay in chat, but I've got to go to work. Okay. But, yeah, anyway, I love nice what to you see. do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good day. How are you, nice brother? Nice to meet you. How are you, mate? Nice to meet you, sorry. <laughs> I always, name, watch, I always watch your videos. Oh, well, you're on them, mate. You're on my video now. <laughs> yeah, no, keep up the good work. You're vegan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sleep, right? oh, no. I, just, I also watched you on that Veganville program. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was interesting. That was yeah, I, yeah. Always, I always, I'm also like a bit of a, well, I'm not aggressive, but like quite objective with my uh, point of view. So I. You're just an ethical vegan. I empathize. Eh? Yeah. I, I understand where you come from. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You're an ethical vegan. You yeah. do it for the animals. Nice yeah. to meet you, bro. I don't need to waste your time on other vegans. Ah, so. that's all right, mate. Take care. Nice, nice, nice to meet you, man. Take care. Work, yeah. Cheers, brother. Take care, mate. So you eat meat from the UK. Now be serious with me, bro. Oh, I'm going to cut it off. Be serious with I'm me. Serious? Yeah, UK. All right, because I know what you're doing, UK. but you get your meat yeah. from the UK. Yeah. Okay. So what? Chicken.